Hello guys and welcome back to Not My Bag. I'm George. And I'm Joe. And I don't know if you guys have heard, but George has finally popped his cherry slash lost his virginity. So this week we thought we'd get in a very special guest. It is reality TV star and OnlyFans millionaire, Kerry Katona. Yeah! Yeah, woo, boy! Woo, woo. And Kerry's going to give George a lot of lessons and advice. Let's be honest. <laughs> He's been on my OnlyFans, hasn't he? Yeah, had... after mates, right? You want a discount, don't you? He said, I said, I'm surprised you know who I am, George, because you're younger. He said, well, I watch. I said, you watch the shower scene, didn't you? <laughs> I've never seen the it. Shower yeah. scene. The shower scene. <laughs> Twitter is a wild place. Uh, George Sorry. bags. Carry on. So you've lost your virginity, lovely. Yeah. Uh, was it two pumps and a squirt and all over? Not, not far off. How yeah. long did you last? <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't actually be able to tell you. I was really drunk first time. Oh, so you did it more than once in the same night? Maybe. <gasps> Sorry, Joe. No, uh, it's fine. We're all open oh, here. Oh, your aren't brothers we? aren't you? It's yeah. fine. He's heard worse from me, to be honest. Oh, I, I, so. How do you feel about him losing his virginity? I'm, I'm happy for him, yeah. It was. A, it, I feel like he wanted the main to for thing a while. Is, did you, was you safe? Yes. That didn't sound very didn't convincing sound safe, to me. That didn't sound safe. So get yourself down to the clinic. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound no, very. It didn't. We're I'm... not promoting safe sex here, George. Sorry. Use I'm a condom, so away. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll end up with an orphanage like me. <laughs> well, I've got. For context, clear. Kerry's kids are all here <laughs> no, <laughs> behind no, the camera. No, they're not. I was... I've only got three of them. Oh, here. sorry. The... I've got five all together. Oh, fine, fine, fine. So I picked my favourites and brought them. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll ask the other two in the cage. Okay. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh. There were social services, really. <laughs> I'm kidding. Come on, what's going on? <laughs> so, am so, I, so, so. Am I kidding? I thought we'd start off. Actually, before we start, um, we've actually met before briefly, haven't we, online? We did. Online. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we met online. Yeah, we were compatible. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of fish membership. Oh, all that can. Marnie. Marnie, I've got my own dating app, Marnie. So I, I did a podcast called Wheel of Misfortune, and we were doing embarrassing and stories and your brother the knobhead came on <laughs> thought he was a big and clever oh you know Kerry and I remember this song that you did you know, the tide is high and I left him to it Kerry. I told this story for just a solid five minutes George <laughs> no I braver I sat there listening and I thought I'm not going to say anything yet let him carry on he sang the song he told the story <laughs> I said it's a lovely story that joke it's just a shame it wasn't me who sang that song <laughs> I sat there in front of the camera and I was like <coughs> that's an ick that's and it. but the podcast was based on embarrassing stories. And so really out of it, I've got an embarrassing story now. Yeah. yeah. I see you got a picture from me from Atomic Kitten. Oh, it's Pamela Anderson. I've not got my glasses. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like it much. might as well be. It might as well be. Right. So we've got some questions for you. Okay. To kick off about um, your sexual journey before okay. we get on to ours. How long right? we got? You know, Bad. I actually no, get I quite can't. embarrassed about do you? that. Yeah. I, I'm actually quite... Um, I get quite embarrassed about that. You can ask my manager, he's learned a lot about that. Because I'm loud and Lara, yeah. and I've done page three, I do OnlyFans, and you know, I've been a lap dancer. But I do, ooh, and I can laugh and joke about it. Mm. But it's like, I remember Duncan from Blue came up to me, he's like, you're not a threesome, like, don't you, Kerry? I went, no! He certainly does. I know. <laughs> oh, there Not we that are. I've been involved. Oh, yeah, I don't believe you. But yeah, I'm <laughs> quite, um, I can be open about it, but I, I can blush a little bit. I do get, I hear some stories on Wheel of Misfortune. I'm mm. like, oh, I don't even know what to say to that. Yeah. But, oh, what about other people? Yeah. Yeah, fine. But I, and I'll play up to the caricature of Caricature and be this gobby girl, which I'm gobby. But I, I get a bit, ooh, you know, mm. that's a bit. Mm. I know what you mean. I think it's situational. I get a bit like. I think I mean, sometimes everyone, I'm like, oh, that's a bit crude. And then I'll come on here and say the most awful thing. Yeah. Everyone I've slept with are married. Public service announcement. Attention all my bearded beasts from stubble to main. If you didn't already know, Manscaped now sells beard products. The leaders in below the waist grooming changed the game with their Beard Hedger Pro Kit. And now they're going one step further with a brand new handyman. An electric shaver for a quick and convenient way to get clean shaven look. Whether you're looking to sharpen up your neckline or give yourself a smooth finish. So say goodbye to all your troubles with Manscaped's Beard Hedger Pro Kit. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that's able to trim your beard to 20 lengths with one guard. That's right, you heard me right. 20 different lengths with one guard. One. The Beard Hedger Kit is a high-tech piece of art in a travel size package. If you like me, you know that clean shaving is a hassle. The Handyman is the perfect tool to carry around in a compact way to give you a clean shaving look. So get 20% off and free shipping 
at manscaped.com with the code not my bag. That's two G's. Oh yes, that's twenty percent off and free shipping. Go into www.manscaped.com and use the code not my bag. Hit the refresh button with Manscaped. George, yeah. George actually loves a girl in a relationship as well, don't you? Yeah, mm, yeah I normally like. Oh, it. that's it. He's, he's spreading. He's, he's, he's been spread out. That's it. He's, he's Do you not think everything. though? It's like the thing of having what, uh, like wanting what you can't have. No? Yeah, I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? uh, absolutely. It's like makes it a bit more. I but like I you always get it. everything I want, George. That's... So I don't understand. I don't get that. <laughs> so question number one. Go on. Uh, how did you first learn about sex? Was it like the whole like, my mum's lesbian the... girlfriend told me? Oh. Yeah. That's... So I must have been about eight. Um, my mum was in a relationship with a woman, who then told me about the birds and the bees. So that's really confused me. Yeah. But yeah, I that and yeah, that's how I learned my mum's girlfriend told me about sex. I, I, <laughs> I'm like, that I was just you not love. that for a curveball. I yeah. love that. I kinda love that though. But at eight, what was I doing at eight? Like probably still in nappies. I think, still everyone, are, I, think, yeah. I think I knew I was gay for about eight. You definitely were. You were gay. Well, I, I think I just knew it was just like in you know what I mean, in my in my bones. <laughs> Which one? Well, we all know. <laughs> I remember my mum was like, what do you want for Christmas? I was like, oh, E equals MC squared by Mariah Carey. And I thought, how's no one clocked on? I used to have a show Cole calendar every single year and no one, everyone was like, oh, he really fancies her. No, no. Okay. He admired her. I admired her. He um, admired her. Yeah, so um, it's really co complicated. I'll tell you anyway. So I'm a product of an affair. Okay. Yeah, so when I was born, I like telling this story because it's really confusing. Okay. So when I was born, the guy who I called dad for two years wasn't my actual dad, right. but his dad I called granddad. Okay. Right? right. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then my mum left the guy who I called dad for my granddad and married my granddad. So my granddad became my dad, my dad became my brother, and then she left him for a woman. I've got a date now. Mm, fucking hell. Mic drop. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking hell. What's the next question? Uh, the next question is when did you lose your virginity? I'm not telling that my children are here. Okay, fine. Uh, have you ever been with a woman? Never. Never. Text all the time, find me on clip or somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, after five kids, I need sat nav. You know how they've got find my phone? My poor Ryan's got find my clip, honestly. It's like fucking map of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why I could never become a lesbian. Honestly. Fuck <laughs> off. Yeah, honestly, it, te it takes me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, have you always been open about sex? I'm not open about sex, really, but... Um, <laughs> Me, but after that. <laughs> that. That's just a joke, isn't it? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I feel like you're comfortable with it, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're comfortable in talking I can, about yeah, it. I, I, yeah, Some people I want really my get... children to be able to talk to me about anything. I yeah. want them never to feel like they can't talk to me about stuff. We're a very open family, like you yeah, guys yeah, are. Yeah. You know, when I started doing OnlyFans, I sat all the kids down and told them. The only yeah. one who was a bit uncomfortable with it was our Lily. Mm. And then when the money started coming in and started getting the iPads, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. And Max and Hyde like, Mum, just go all the way. We can have a Rolls Royce. Just do it, just do it. Because the thing is, it doesn't matter what I do. My yeah. kids are always going to get shit because I'm their mum. Sure. So in my head, I'm like, Fuck it. give me the fucking money. Let me make yeah. great adventures for the kids. Let's yeah, create yeah. great memories. That's what it's all about The thing me. is, it's true as well. I saw a podcast with that, um, I don't know if you know, Elle Brook is. Mm -hmm. No, she, well, she does OnlyFans and stuff as well. And but they were saying like, oh, what what are you going to do like in 10 years time? Oh, with Piers got, Morgan? Yeah, when you No, got, Piers Morgan was trying to dig at her, yeah, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like in an interview and he, Piers Morgan was like, what are you going to do in 10 years time when your kids are getting bullied? And she was like, well, I'll be picking them up in a Ferrari, so why does it matter? Didn't exactly. She, like, she, did you know she say I mean? something like they can cry in the Ferrari? Yeah. Or like, yeah. She, well, she like ruined Piers Morgan. So my hiding, yeah. she got a bit of shit off some kids, you know, these guys <clears> going, ah, your mum's only fans. I said, well, tell them to tell the fucking dad to stop subscribing and make your mum fucking pleasuring properly. Otherwise, you'll have to come to my fucking mother, would they? And then get in your fucking Ferrari from your private school and let's go on fucking holiday. <laughs> That's a perfect comeback. I can't Bash. lie. I can't lie. Simple. Um, Have that. What is your biggest piece of relationship advice? Don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> so what? No one really gets married anymore. No. Well, no, no. I, from our era, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't be bothered with it. Well, I, I've been married once or twice. I've been married <laughs> three times. 
I've been divorced twice. I'm technically a widow. I'm, I'm everyone I've been engaged to. I have married them. Mm. I'm a proper romantic. I, um, I believe you know everyone deserves a happy ever after. You know, when I split up with my third husband, I was, I was saying, I was like, right, hey, she shouldn't be in a relationship now. Oh, here we go again. It's like, so shall I be on my own for the rest of my yeah, life? Yeah. Absolutely fucking not. My kids are growing up. I want somebody to share my life yeah, with. Yeah. Um, but if you do get married, I know great divorce lawyer. I actually get the third one for free now. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep that, keep that noted. Well, I've been engaged for three years. I've been with Ryan for five. Normally at this point, I've popped a few kids out and I'm talking to divorce lawyers. Sure. So it's going so well. So it's going well. So I'm doing something different. Yeah. 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 It's going really, Ryan's amazing. I rate yeah. that. Yeah. I'm actually going through the longest single period I've ever had in my life. Really? Six months, isn't it now? Yeah, Maybe. six months. Well, yeah. that's great because I think this is when you should learn to love yourself. Thank you. You know, I'm doing well when I because everyone said give it give him three months well, no because Joe right. is like a, a serial relationship yeah right? you know what I mean back to back back to yeah. back yeah I mean I met my first husband when I was 18 okay you know I had my first baby when I was 20 I was married at 21 right had Lily at 23 all moved quite quick yeah well I was with him for seven years you know and then when that wait from when you were 11 for, I was with him for, I was oh, 18 oh sorry I... 11 <laughs> I thought what you what the said... fuck no <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 I'm really no. bad at math. <laughs> no, I was with him for seven years. But because when that marriage broke down, it triggered me because my childhood cause I was in foster right. home and refugees and all that kind mm. of shit. And I just wanted to be loved so desperately. Yeah. So I married my mum's drug dealer. <laughs> I thought I was going to get it for free. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Anyway, oh, on to yeah. the sex test, right? <laughs> so um, I wanted to, like, Kerry, I wanted you and I to ask George some questions mm. um, after his first time, see how, how well he knows. He got crabs. No, I don't think so. I hope not. Where is the clitoris? You're asking me or him? Uh, <laughs> how do you explain George. it? It's just like at the top. <laughs> Isn't it? I've not found my. I mean, I is. wouldn't know. If anyone in here is the expert, it's got to be Kerry. I how? haven't got a clue. How Honest are you meant to God. Like, yeah, how are you meant to like explain? No, it. Give me a graph. A graph? First things first, they're not on graphs, they're on women. <laughs> Well, that's a hard question. Okay, though. number two then. You Kerry's a woman and you she failed, can't find You those. failed that one. I've had five kids, sweetheart. <laughs> Lucky if anyone can fucking find mine. <laughs> that's why Ryan's not married me. Um, what is a labia? Oh, I don't even know that. Yeah, it's something... fuck knows. I haven't got a clue. I didn't write this quiz. What is a labia? What is a labia? Uh, what, the baby's carried in? No, that's the... Uh, Does anyone the, know what a labia womb. is? That's the womb. For people in the back, what, anyone kids? know what a labia is? Yeah. Is it the outside, the flaps? I, what is it? The it's outside of the, the flaps. flaps. The flaps. At least my children know. <laughs> I'm so proud. Name three types of contraception. I know this one's got to be difficult. Withdrawal. Con <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> you know like condom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh the pill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the coil. Oh, oh wow! Come on. Well done, George. Well I've done his research. Name that. three erogenous zones. Fucking what does that mean? So I think your, your nipples? I think this means where you can get turned on Yeah, from, that, right? that could be anywhere, really. Yeah. It, all, it all depends on that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Apparently when I watch Friends, there's a big part of it and there's seven of them up, you know, when Monica does the whole anyway. Oh on. wait, no. Seven, yeah, I don't know what I don't seven. know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. Um <laughs> Sorry. He's he's too young. Yeah, he's too young. Um George, so name three. Nipple. Mm -hmm. I gave you that one. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we're, That's like cheating. It's all a team <laughs> friends here. <laughs> nipple, mm. neck. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. I like my neck. Do you? I like my neck. I don't know, like just kissing, no? No, 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 no. That's, that's bad. Like maybe thigh. Thigh. Ear. 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 Yeah, nibble on your ear. Um, you've done well. Um, just, you a discount. just to give you some. Um, oh, wait, sorry. Where is the male G spot? Is the last question. Up in the bum. Up your bum, innit? <laughs> up the bum. Joe, you help us with this one. It's up your bum. That's it what is I meant. When they go for a shit, they're in the toilet for so long because they enjoy it that much. Is that true? I, I can't comment on that. I just normally have a shit and then go. Yeah, just leave. I've got yeah. IBS too, so it's actually very yeah, unenjoyable. Yeah, my Ryan sits there for hours, honestly. <laughs> it is. It's up the bum, isn't it? Go on, crack on. Um, so, so basically, the only one that you didn't really get, George, was the clitoris, and it's right under the point where the I inner don't think labia. I still got the clitoris, though. Meet and form a little hood. Oh, I don't uh -huh. know. I, don't, I was giving the answer. That sounds very um, very technical answer. I know. Right. So the next the next segment is called "Would you kink or would you not?" Right. 
So we're going to go through the most common kinks and see which ones you've tried or want to try. We can all all do this. I can't believe you've brought my kids with me to this. I'd, 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 Kerry, we didn't know your kids were going to be here. I had no idea know, this right. is going to look like questions. Yeah, well, you know, we just, right, to, we just have to work this one out, aren't we? Sorry, kids. Anybody got earplugs? Can I make it really clear that they're not little kids? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We sorry, just to... make it clear, like, Lily's 20, Heidi's 16, and Max is 15. It's not like, you know... Yeah. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Social services at the door again. <laughs> oh my God. Right, number one, exhibitionism is a kink where the person feels sexual aroused with the idea or reality of being seen naked or engaged in sexual activities. Wait, so is that like seeing someone naked? Is that you just standing at the end of the bed naked? Oh, oh, sorry. So no, sorry. So if you're at a window, like a flat or whatever, and then the neighbour sees you naked, you get aroused by that's that. That's a kink. Yeah. So like, no. so like that's, that's just pedo in, right? No, 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 no. But the one, the person who is naked is the one getting the kick out of being seen. Yes, seen. So like, George, my flat, right? If someone's in the gym and then I was walking around naked at he the window. He knows it's very good, doesn't he? I'd, yeah. oh, I'd, I'd, I'd get turned on by that, which I don't. Which actually is Wait, right Wait, by the now. guy in the gym? It's very hot in here. <laughs> no, I would, but there is no guy in the gym. Stop making a false narrative. I'm saying if I was cooking pasta naked and someone in the it's office very is- very detailed this. He's cooking pasta. So Why we... is he cooking pasta? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this has actually happened. It's like he's reliving this memory. So, so... I'm getting way too hot in this studio today. So They've the... turned the aircon off so as well. So you, as the naked person- Gets a turn Get on. aroused because someone's looking, he's looking at you naked. Yes. naked yes. That's yeah. the most stupid And you know what? I, d I don't get that. But yeah, I was a naked lap dancer, but I didn't get turned on by it. Fine. Okay. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. So that's not a kink of mine. Yeah. Okay, so that's all right, kids. That, <laughs> <laughs> Next one voyeurism is where you get excitement for watching other people doing it. So, like, you're, Porn. you're sat on like well, you're sat on like a chair, no, but like live, the room isn't it? and they're like doing whatever. Oh, that makes me feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really cringe. Oh, god. That would, that would, yeah. Oh I don't know, like, seeing, seeing, I did not know this. Not, don't I don't want to, I don't even know if I want to know your answer to this, George. <laughs> seeing two girls snog, that's quite no. Right. Next one. Oh, it's getting, they're just getting worse. They're just getting worse. Am I actually pushing? Strap in. <laughs> Foot fetish. Anyone? Nah, that's weird. Man. Well, I sell pictures of my feet on OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. You, is it profitable? Oh, fucking hell, I've got two on my give you sweet Beautiful toes, beautiful touches. <laughs> How often do you get your feet like done, like pedicured and that? If oh, you... it doesn't matter. That's the thing for only fans. You can be any shape, size. It doesn't uh, matter. There's, there's they just people... fucking love feet, innit? Yeah, but there's people out there who want all kinds of shite. Yeah. And if people are willing to pay me a shitload of money for me to take a quick picture of my feet. Yeah. How much you going in... Never... Oh, like you don't know. <laughs> like you don't know, <laughs> Star 56, 7. <laughs> I know What's you What's the pay-per-view saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my. <laughs> oh, he is, he is. <laughs> Next on, praise kinks. It's when you... Get off by your partner like praising you. So like if they're like, oh good job, I guess. That is so <laughs> fucking weird. Who wrote these? I no, these are actual kinks, like <laughs> genuine things. So someone oh saying my like God. So if a girl was like, oh George, like, like well done. Well done, you <laughs> you, you got the right shopping. You think we're gonna get a What? Why are you having sex? Before, oh, is it during sex, Rosie? You can't be like, oh, you. <laughs> me, me and Aldi car park. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the shopping, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I misunderstood that one. <laughs> um, I've got vomit fetish. Oh, oh absolutely don't. not. They're, they're only like cleaning my own kids sick up. Oh, somebody else, I can't leave my kids right. Um, uh, the next golden shower. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, I've drank the old piss. Was oh, wait, is that for a TV show? TV show? Yeah. Oh, oh, thank God. For thank God. I'll do anything for money. <laughs> <laughs> it's very well documented, people. <laughs> okay, right. Well, oh, was that for that? Um... Detox. Yeah, because we yeah. had Chloe Veach on here. Yeah, oh, I love yeah, Chloe. Yeah, she's so oh, nice. I absolutely love. Because she, she had like an exorcism, didn't she, on there? Oh, my. I thought I thought she was, I thought she was orgasm. Oh, did you? Oh, honestly, yeah, I did. We did coach trip together, me and Chloe. Oh, cool. And then she did hunted and she came and hid at my house. Yeah. Oh. So we absolutely adore Chloe. She's oh, so lovely. She's such a, she's like, I look at her as like another daughter. And she's yeah. so amazing. She's on a great path of. So, yeah, I love her. Sorry, crack, crack on. Yeah. What we're talking about, fuck it. Um, uh, wait, have you. Obviously, like, this is just sort of completely open question. I have to ask it. What are your kinks, or do you not really. Haven't it? George Bags. We're on the topic of King. George Bags. If you want to see all that, sweetheart, there's Subscribe. a site that I charge. Subscribe. So come along, have a look. I need mates <coughs> rates. You need what? I need mates rates. 
George bags. George, next She's question. About it. Next question. <laughs> money's money, George. <laughs> money's money. Um, the next one's mirror sex. What's that? You know, oh, like, fuck yeah, I don't even like looking at himself in the mirror, let alone having sex. <laughs> um, and oh, this one's a pregnancy fetish where people oh, like it. No, Wait, no. So people like it sometimes when like women are pregnant. No, like, no, that's just hard. Oh, you just like. No, Ev, this is such a misconception. I know that's not fact, but it's just gross, no. isn't it? Just hit, you're like, oh, what's that? What's no, that's not true. No. Can, can someone no, have my back that, here? You don't no, poke the baby's head. No, you head. don't poke the baby's head. George. <laughs> How big do you think you are, George? <laughs> well, I mean... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was trying to make the next segment and thought, get me away from this fucking conversation right now. Oh, right, we're going to go on to bloody giving advice to the, <laughs> the general public. Oh, oh, lordy, lordy, lord. Let me get my oh, story. Oh, Craig, get me out of it. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. Um, D-lister. Let, let me see if there's any... Um, you got some wild questions, didn't you? Me and my girlfriend are amazing together, but we just don't have sex at all. Help me, please. That's got to be so boring. That's man. shit. <laughs> That's, you know, I get really angry. Oh, my kids is a Is a daddy kink a red flag asking for a friend? I don't yeah. think... Oh my God, John, tell me. Don't take okay. me away, John. John, tell me away. Don't take me away. This is so wrong. on so many levels. Go on. Um, um. I think, like, look, at the end of the day, if you've got a kink and it works for you, then that is fine. You know what? You know what? Some of these are so rough. I think we might just move on to the uh, to the next thing. Because some well, of these... Forget, uh, go on. Ask him, go on. Some of them are just like, so... What, but this is a co quite a common one. Was having sex and the fella asked me to lick his arsehole when I thought he was joking, but no. No, that's quite common. Yeah. That's a quite common thing. Yeah. Did you, you get asked that? George! I don't, I don't, I don't, answering I don't, the questions I, for the people. I don't do I am in a committed relationship. Yeah, I'm but saying, what I'm do, saying is, men like that, don't some, they? Some guys, some are, I mean, like I, I know men like that, but for George, some I've actually got mates that... Um, I'm How's she dads? <laughs> <laughs> I actually think this might be the most chaotic podcast we've ever, ever, ever done. Like, ever, ever done. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> oh my um, God, I'm so sorry. Oh God, no, no, don't you worry. Let my kids know it's all, oh, I had you spewing. <laughs> um... I'm only joking, kids. But yeah, no, some people do like that. There was one actually. Um, <laughs> the guy I'm seeing wants me to peg him. He What's won't take mean? no for an answer. Says where you strap it on, and then like so you would strap. No, it I thought on that's then... where you like. No, pegging is where the woman straps Tells it on. on and, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I thought I was like, no. That's what? Done that. <clears throat> How does it go? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I asked him, I said to him, thanks for shopping. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was like, thanks for shopping, babe. Oh, um, I've got one. Every time I suck dick, I throw up. Help. Oh, that, that is... sounds about right. <laughs> disgusting. Um, um. Stop sucking dick. <laughs> um, and someone has just said, not sure George should be answering sex dilemmas just yet, but I mean... You seem like a pro. <laughs> How do you know? I think I think you've done it a lot more, aren't you? Oh, he's been since the first time. He's been going like a like, like a, a rabbit. rabbit. <laughs> like a rabbit. <laughs> Posted that says like jinx padlock. <laughs> That's it now. Any and it's the first. I know. I know. So it just won't stop now. No. That's it. No, I meant it's in right white rabbits, white rabbits. It's the first of August, and we both said rabbits at the same time. Oh, I don't know. What does that mean? What? You just keep drinking your drink, sweetheart. <laughs> You're at it like a rabbit. Yeah. So now you've got a bit of taste, but you can't stop. Yeah. What's wrong with that? I'm just saying, like you know, you give yourself so many hand jobs now. You don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. You seen her later today? Maybe. Seen it. Have you got a girlfriend? No. Nah. So you just seeing some. Ish, ish, You're ish. being so <laughs> like you just see he's never like this. Oh, this is it. Now his balls have dropped, have they? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Um, 
got a bit of pubic hair, that's it, now ain't it? Yeah, just casually see you give a fucking real name. Oh my God. Right, we're done with the sex segment. Both me and your children that. are really happy about that. That so. is, oh my, I can see papers. I can just see the fucking newspapers now. <laughs> Any publicity is good publicity. It, exactly, yeah. It's exactly. not this relationship I've had with papers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were going to, um, <laughs> oh my God, before we go on to the next, next thing, I just wanted to ask you, because do you know much about like TikTok? Do you go on there much at all? I'm so shit at it, you know. Is that what you do, TikTok? So we do a lot of TikTok in. <laughs> yeah, who are you? Yeah, yeah this yeah, lady has no idea who we are. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to go on, because there's this lady who does a lot of live streams called Chelsea Lee Art. You say she's my cousin? No. That, oh, she might have said that on a live. With a bandana, big yes. lips. Yeah. Never met the fucking girl in my life. Right. I actually left a comment. Did you? She, she called I've you got out this. I want to show you this video quickly. Watch this. My fucking life has been 20 million times worse than Carrie Katona's, darling. And half these celebrities. So if you want a story, then keep on, carry on tune, darling. My fucking life. She's... That's amazing for her. <laughs> She, I don't, and she said, she, she, someone sent it me. I think it was actually my sister. Oh, it was my, my niece, Amy. Amy sent it me and she said, yeah, Coca Tones my cousin. Never fucking met her in my life. Yeah, I she's think she, she must go around because she goes on lives and go around the streets and like tells people like things. But and... she's mentioned me a few times. Yeah, this lady. and I saw that on my thing and I thought, and I've got to like, show you. And it's like, it's not a competition, darling. I wouldn't want anyone to go through what I've been through. And if yeah. your life is like, go get some therapy. But she's on live all the time. And yeah, they earn, she they earn in... so much money from it as well, on the live. Well, I do, because do, I've got my own boutique, I've got Carrie's boutique, so yeah. I do do my lives on there as well. I do go into a TikTok hole, because mm. yeah. I'm a massive conspiracy theorist. Oh, okay, fine. Are you? Have you watched about the aliens? That they're real? So what Have is going on with this? It? Yeah, I've seen it, but no what? one's bothered. No one gives it because it's a distraction. What do you think about uh, Biden? He, that's not really Biden, that, you know. Do you not think? Do you? Well, did you see that guy the other day that just froze in that interview? Oh, did you not see the woman touch him? No. Well, the woman went over in the green suit, touched him, and then he just froze. It was oh my so God, Joe, we could sit all day and watch it. <laughs> it was honestly You crazy. go have a wank, <laughs> and we'll talk about conspiracy theories. Oh my, George, no, this alien thing is this crazy. This is so, do you think the world's flat? Or? Oh, well, see, George, do you do, don't you? I think it's flat. Oh. I, so, if, so, so you know, with there's a window, mm. and it comes through, and it's a rainbow, it's a right angle, it's straight. So the firmament, if it's a rainbow, where's the arch coming from? I so believe it. It's all around the world, no? No, it's from, oh my God. I, oh, oh, I could sit here all day talking about it. Honestly. I see a lot about like um, celebrities as well, like actually not being Being clone. Like that. Absolutely. Yeah, Kanye yeah. West, that's not really him anymore. Yeah. Oh, I believe Britney that. Spears thing. That is so fucked up. Because did you see Can that... I just say, I'm not really Kerry. I'm just a really good fucking lookalike. <laughs> Kerry's, this is AI. This episode is AI. Um, <laughs> but the Britney Spears thing, they edited pictures see, from events it, yeah. into her wedding. So yeah. her wedding didn't actually like, happen. Yeah, that was mad. And it, it makes sense as well, but it's like when Kenya West said, like, when I go missing, say if I go missing and come back, it's not me. So many people say, you've seen about the cloning? Yeah, uh, I've, I've seen like, yeah, bits. The Avril oh Lavigne thing God. as well. Oh, I see. could sit and what I honestly. could, honestly, I sit there all day, you come up and scroll past it. And then, um, <laughs> 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 yeah, not interested. Oh, I think, God. yeah, I'm funnier than them. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I could sit there all day watching that stuff. Yeah. I really believe in all that. George I'm, loves them as well, didn't you? Yeah. What's your, what's your favorite ones? It's like the clouds. Do you, like, do you never listen to Graham Hancock? No. Oh, do you listen to Joe Rogan? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I'm on a sort of spiritual journey at the minute. I want to go abroad and do ayahuasca. Have you heard of ayahuasca and all that no, kind of shit? Tell oh, us you more. No, you're so babies. I can't. I'll be here all day, honestly. I'm starving. I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a massive believer, like, in the government are just fucking full of shit. I don't believe in any of that shit. I know I shouldn't say it. I've not had my vaccines, which I'm so glad I never had okay, mine. Do you have yours? Um, yeah. yeah, but it was only to go to Ibiza. Oh, you're yeah. going to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's inevitable anyway, I'm Kerry, joking, so. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I've never been a beefer. Have you oh, not? Okay. We love it there. It, I've never fancied I it. I feel like you would tear it up. N well, I'm, no, I'm not actually. I'm just not like that. Oh. I shit, Don't get me wrong. I've shoved a shit coat. I've put coke up my nose. I've drank mm. coke. I've done all that. But I was never in the celebrity circuit. It was the oh, people who fun. I lived with and hung out. Well, I'm not a drug dealer, did I? But yeah, I just, it's just not my cup of tea that I'm sure. in bed by 7.30. 
Oh yeah, now, actually. So what does like, like what does um just taking it back a bit? So like, what does your day to day routine look like and it's, stuff like? I don't have one. No, I just I live out of a suitcase, so it's very. Are you traveling a lot? Uh, yeah, and I've took a bit of time off because I've actually been quite poorly. So I have actually been at home, but since I've been at home, I've been really, really ill. But I just love. I'm a bit of a loner. I don't have a social life. Right. Okay. My social life is this. Sure. And then like, if I can bring the kids with me, and then. If I'm on stage singing, that's my social yeah, life. Yeah. But when I go home, I like going home. Is that because you don't really trust a lot of people? Or no, I just what? can't be fucking asked. No. Yeah, you can't <laughs> be. I want to kids who won't be in my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 40. I'm 40. <laughs> I want 40. All right, same to you and all. <laughs> I'm 43 next month. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And to be fair, I'm actually only 35 because Ryan's eight years younger than me. Oh, okay. So I can still pull them. But <laughs> I just like, I like going home and, and watching my documentaries and learning. And I try and force the kids to come out of the bedroom and sit with me and watch film. In fact, our Heidi sat with me and watched two films oh, of a really? day. really? Couldn't fucking Big believe up. it. Big up. Two films. I was like, I, I was like oh my gosh, she's so interested. Oh, please don't move. Please don't move. And she watched do you guys there. do much as a family then? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we lock each other up in cages. I give them bread and water. <laughs> yeah, for me, everything is about my kids. Yeah, and they're all ungrateful little bastards. So that, but kind I of... do it all for the kids. Yeah. That's the only reason why I do it, so that they can have Molly and Lily. They're grown up now, and they have to make their own decisions and, and try and learn by themselves. And I can only be there to try and help guide them. Sure, yeah. yeah. And they've got to decide on who they want to <laughs> be. But I'm always going to be there for them. I mm. would die for each and every single one of them. Yeah. Well, maybe not all of <laughs> They're sat there like... <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of takes me to the point, like, when um, when did, like, OnlyFans come into the picture for you and stuff like when that? When we went... So I started off as a page three mm. model. Yeah. I was a size six waist with a 34 double D chest. I actually looked a bit like Paul Anderson back in the day. I had four sets of foster parents, three refuges, eight different skills, was sick as fuck, dyslexic, but I had a great set of tits. Mm. And I was like, well, that's my get out. Yeah. So I, I became... A, back in... You won't even know what page three <laughs> is. So I that all we know because dad used to love it. Oh, yeah. did he? Yes. Uh, oh, I remember you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy I'm lord. So for me, I was 16 years of age and that was my get out. So it was, I was all right looking, but I was a pretty girl back in the day and I know I was, but I've never been one of these girls. Like, I've always been a bit of a tomboy as well and sure. be my own person. I've never followed anybody. And then I was in a nightclub and I, I just, I got in a girl band, but I've always been an extrovert, you know, been proud of my body. Mm. I was a lap dancer. And then during lockdown, I couldn't pay the rent. Yeah. Well, just and I was all the like, work just stopped. Yeah, yeah everybody, yeah. everything just stopped. And mm. a friend of mine mentioned OnlyFans. And I, I said to my, she like, should we do it? I said, it's only like me. Like, yeah, I go topless on the beach with the kids. I remember Pat got a picture of me once. I was eating a burger and drinking a pint. Topless and it went for 75 grand and I didn't get any of that money. Fuck so now I do my own pack pictures. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to say that either. Shut up, 75 like, grand. This was back in the day when like, you used to make shit. Like, I mean, I used to get 100 grand for a photo shoot doing OK magazine back in the day. But Blimey. it was just like, do it. So I sat all the kids down and said, look, I'm thinking about doing that. And there was all fine of it. Lily was a bit, I'm not too sure. And the first shoot I did was in my bedroom. Molly, my eldest, did I would so I was only like nice little sexy underwear. It's only like being on a fucking beach. I'm not being funny. If I go for a piss and shit in my house, I shit you not, the kids come in the bathroom. What's for tea? How much money can I have? Look at this Snapchat. Oh, look what you said to me. You know, so I'm just so old. She's laughing because she knows for well. I go to the toilet, touch that one. I'm like, I'm just, can I just have a piss yeah. in peace? We're like that though, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're very yeah. open and we honest. Are, we are. I ran in and flicked mum's boob up and ran out giggling once and she was like, what the fuck was that about? Yeah, <laughs> we're very open. We're just very open and honest like that. And, you know, it's, it, it, because I, I was a page three model, when my kids used to go around to my mum's, my mum had my page three picture up on the wall. So it's like, it's never been hidden yeah, from them. Yeah, of course. And it, it's, it's like, if you go to the cinema and you watch Eyes Wide Shut with Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman, Fucking like bunnies, Natalie Portman in Black Swan, finger blasting herself and all that shit. They all call that art. Yay, let's give them an yeah, award yeah, yeah. and shit, loads of money. But because I'm a, a working class bird, I'm from a council estate, and I'm Karen Katona, who's made a load of fuck ups, she's disgusting. Yeah, she's yeah. a disgrace. Hang on, who's having the last fucking laugh? Yeah. 
And you own it now as well. Your, oh, your, absolutely. Your end intro for, I think it was SAS, was one of the funniest things because you just it? sat there and just was like, yeah, like I've done this, that, the other, the other, the other. I and have you were no like, shit. you know what? It was so Jeff, good though. It was so good. I have been around in this industry for a very, like, I'm, I'm one of the OGs from, I've been around for years now, yeah. 30 years now. I've never changed. Mm. Never changed. And I just want to give my kids everything I never had. That's mm. all I can do. Like, like when I did coach trip with our Lily, what a great adventure. Yeah, that's so I fun. I can't take the cars with me, yeah. can't take the house with me, but on my deathbed, I will have those memories yeah, and go, course. we did this, you remember when we did that and we did this? And not that I'll be doing this on my deathbed. Yeah. Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but that is all I can take yeah. with me. And that's what it's all about. And I want to be in that 1% bracket. I want to earn as much fucking money as I want. Yeah, yeah. It not? doesn't make you happy, but it's giving me so many fucking options. So Yeah, yeah absolutely. Fuck I you. Gonna, I was going to ask you as well about like your longevity <laughs> and stuff. Because I, I mentioned earlier before we started recording yeah. that. Um, it was Heidi from Sugar Babes that was yes. in the original lineup of Atomic Kitten, So I was the founder member. Yeah, So I was crazy. the original member. So I was in the band of Real for about two months. Uh, I called as Atomic Kitten and we held Did audition. You? Yeah, yeah. Sorry for my chest is right then. No, I've got yeah. <clears throat> and we held auditions and I picked Liz McClartney. She was so sweet and Heidi Range had the most fantastic voice I've ever heard in my life. And Heidi was only 14 and I think Liz was about 15. Anyway, we went around, we was gigging, we called ourselves Exit. Oh. Uh, we were called Honeyheads. We did all these nightclubs, getting bottles through at us, all kinds of things. We really grafted. Anyway, Heidi and Liz didn't get on. I think Liz slapped Heidi. Or, so anyway, Heidi wanted to go solo. We did it here for her for years. Right. We got Natasha, and four weeks later, so we got a record deal. Yeah, and then how, when did Heidi join Sugar Babes after I that? I got a fucking glue. Was there not like any rivalry or anything like that, or not really? Not with me, I think it was with Natasha Fine. and Heidi, because like, Natasha was like the lead vocalist, she's a, a phenomenal singer. Okay, yeah. Um, but no, I, you know, mm. I'm, I want everyone to do well, there's yeah. enough out there for us all When to there's achieve. girl bands, it's hard, back in the day, you hear these I stories, I mean, the girls hate you? me. Oh, uh, what now? Yeah, the, I mean, Tasha's blocked me and uh -huh. I, Liz got married. I said, you know, Liz was my bridesmaid at my last wedding. Tasha's yeah. the first one. I'm running out of people to be my bridesmaid. Us next. <laughs> yeah, me and George and Wiggs. Oh, uh, yeah, that's walked me down the aisle. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it's really, that's really a shame, sad. Though. It really is a shame, you know, because I look at the likes of Sarah Hard and I think, what if something's ever happened to one that's of us? That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. Do you know and what you, I mean? Regret. And yeah. we're not little girls anymore. Mm. And I'm so proud of being an atomic kid. Let's be honest, yeah. I was in it for a split second. Yeah. And I'm the most famous one. And I, I know, because <laughs> I, I, know, I, know, I know the songs really well. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm teasing. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just I want to ask you about that because I'm I'm a big Sugar Babes fan as well. And when someone yeah. told me that on the way, I thought, oh my god, no yeah. way! I love that. And um, one other thing, I just wanted to ask you about because um, obviously I see you all the time in the papers, duh, obviously. Um, you, I don't know what the interest is every day. There's something about me, pay honestly. <laughs> love yeah, it though. Over 25 years now. You might as well just write your own blog at this point. To be oh, fair, oh yeah, put them out of a job. Well, I've just done my own book. Another. My third dog we actually thing. have that. Can, is, has anyone got that can drop it in? It's, it's not that heavy. And it's not a colouring <laughs> book. I actually well, wrote it. We've got a picture it. book. Oh, where's, I wanted you to sign mine. I will do it afterwards. That's all right. Thanks, George. I actually matched my shirt to it today. Now, is, it, is it not intentional? But It's, it's of... a really good book I wrote it. <laughs> so you I got, won't ruin the ending. So you, got your, <laughs> so you got your book. Tell us about the book. Well, I've done three autobiographies. The first one was called Too Much Too Young, which is actually with script writers at the min minute, which they want to turn into a film. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really fucked up. Uh, the second one was called Still Standing, and the third one's called Whole Again. <coughs> And I just want to be a beacon of hope and resilience and strength and doesn't matter what you go through. Bang, I mean, I come from getting my clothes off a car boot sale to getting Verrucas off second-hand shoes, to become a millionaire, going bankrupt, getting it back, going bankrupt and becoming a millionaire again. And it's not about the millionaire bit. It's not about how many times you fall. It's about how many times you get back up. And if I can get through that, any fucker can. And I, I want to be able to give people hope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and be able to piss out yourself as well and own your shit day, yeah. I think and stop self pitying. Yeah. Oh, but me child, all this. There's fuck all you can do mm. about it. Yeah. There's nothing we can do about the past. All we can do is what is happening today, mm. who we are today, and how we deal with those issues that make you who you are today. And I just want to be the best version I can be of myself. And every day I'm learning. Yeah. And everyone thinks you got five kids, you know, all well, adult because I fuck up with my kids, you know. Mm. We'll have arguments, we'll fall out. 
you know, they bring their dramas and, it, you know, you always learn every day. And yeah. I rate it, people that can own their past and make a joke out of it. I oh, think. you got we it. we do it too, don't we? I feel like well, it's the best For years, it was everybody it. else's fault. It was my mum for yeah. the child or watching a slit of race. You know, it was Brian for leaving me. Because my mum gave me my first drug when I was 14. Right. Show me who shared it with speed. So I didn't know any different. Mm. Mm. So that was how I was brought yeah, up. Yeah, of course. You know, and that's just, and it is, I don't want, you know what, I won't change any of it. I won't change the drugs, the bankruptcy, the husbands, because I got my five children out yeah. of it. And yeah. I am who I am today. today and it's yeah. taught me a massive, massive lesson. Yeah. They're not oh, mistakes, well, they're lessons. You learn from it. Wear a fucking condom next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, right? When baby mama comes along. Oh, uh, yeah. By yeah, the George, way, George. Where George? I'm not good with babies. Call it Kerry. I would, yeah. I will. If a baby comes along, you've got to call it Kerry now. Kerry. Yeah. And you've got to read this to it at night. <laughs> <laughs> and when I got out to read. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that's the story. Night, night. Yeah, night, night. Yeah. Um, the end. One thing I wanted to say to you, Zoe, because you've, Obviously, you had like a, 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 a rough time with the media, mm. like throughout the years. And then one, like, there's one interview in particular I found really uncomfortable, even to this day, still watch back. This and I know, I know what you're talking about. I know, like, you know. Mm. And I just wanted to know if you have any opinion on what's happened recently, because obviously, like, that How was. How long have we got? That, <laughs> okay, so let me make it really clear. So I've been, I've hosted, I, me and my first husband, Ryan, we presented this morning. Mm. Massive fans of it. Um, the, the what you're talking about is I don't know if you've ever seen the infamous interview on this morning where I'm slurring my words. Now I've got no reason to lie. My children are here. I've shoved enough shit up my nose. I've drank till the cows come home. I've done it all. I've never been on national television doing any class drugs or mm. drunk. Now I was diagnosed with bipolar back in 2005. No one knew about it. I didn't even know what fucking bipolar was. I thought I was going to get some shin pads to go play sport. I didn't know what it was, <laughs> but I was delighted that. So I knew what it was because I was always down and I couldn't handle the fame. Mm. Fucking hated it, believe it or not. I yeah. hated the fame. And the medication that it was trial and error, trial and error, back in Susan Priory, and everyone thinks you're back in there for drugs. I was never addicted to cocaine. It was just the people who's hanging around with that I would I'd binge. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But there the is one point that that was all I had because there was nobody there to help me. So cocaine, it, it did become like a, a crutch, I guess. Like... I got really upset. Yeah, there was nobody there to help me and yeah, I was on my own and that, that was the only thing I had and the way the papers were with me at the time, I, w I was, I was suicidal. Yeah, just constantly. Like I just, I, I just didn't know what to do, you know, mm. and the, the, the guy I was married to, Mark, was ripping me off, my mum was selling stories and I felt really, really alone yeah, and yeah. to this day, I still can't think, believe I got through it and I know why it was, was because of my kids. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's why I've got Molly and Lily on my wrist because, you know, I witnessed my mum set a wrist all the mm. time and, I felt so worthless. That was, mm -hmm. I never want my kids to feel like they're not good enough or mm -hmm. I, I never wanted that. So I used cocaine as a stability yeah. to the point that I was doing that much. I OD'd. But, but on, on that So on this morning, you, so sorry. You must have, because when you, when you do those interviews, you have to wake up really, really, really early, don't you? So let me explain to him. So yeah. the night before, I did a TV show called Slabber Juice. Mm. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was on there, we finished wrapping at 12 o'clock. Everything was fine, went home, took medication. I was on like 200, 300 milligram of clopromazine, Google it. 150 milligram of valifaxine, 7.5 milligram of uh, zopacone. Took it late at night, got the next day. Didn't say a word to anybody, I was absolutely fine. No yeah. drink, no drugs. This is a medication that I was prescribed mm. by my doctor. Yeah. So the it was such a high dosage. Sometimes I get up in the morning, I couldn't even tie a shoelace. Yeah, yeah and my speech would be really it's like slow. Drowsy in that, aren't yeah. You? yeah. So I I have um, ADHD and I'm dyslexic. I'm a million miles an hour, and sometimes I can't pronounce a lot of my words anyway. Yeah. So in a mix of cocktails of prescription medication. Um, I got told I got a lazy tongue, so I thought I'm gonna be a good fucking lesbian. Oh, would I? <laughs> oh, would I? Let's be honest. Maybe you would. I think I got three men marry me. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I've gone on the show, did, and in my head, I felt absolutely fine. It's just, it weren't mm. coming out like that. And it wasn't coming out yeah, like that, yeah, but that yeah. I wasn't drinking. I've got no mm. reasons for that. I did yeah. drug tests, I did alcoholic tests, I went for speech therapy, and I. It, I would, in my head, I'm thinking, I don't understand. Now, me and Philip had the same manager. Mm. So it used to be, I was with James Grant. It was me, Aunt Deck, uh, Stevie Mulhern, and oh, okay. Philip Schofield. Right. And um, 
I hadn't seen Philip for years. I wasn't in the management company anymore. And it, it was just so antagonising. As soon as I went on there, it was like it was after me because Fern, she actually had an OK magazine in her hand. And she went, you know, here, Kerry, you're saying you're on holiday. You know, you're doing a photo shoot and you're making everybody drink shots. I'm like, I'm in my bear. I'm 28 years of age. Mm. I have no kids with me. I'm with my girlfriend. Yeah. And we're all on the, what do you want me to do? Drink fucking lemongrass tea. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm thinking, right. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, people saying your speech is a bit slur. And I, I really panic think, fucking hell is it? And I've gone, well, I've got, I've got bipolar. Mm. And I took medication really late last night. Didn't mm. I, Mark? They never went. What's bipolar? Yeah, yeah. And what medication you take? Because yeah. we, we don't understand. We're uneducated. Mm. Can you tell us what it is? Yeah, yeah. And I went home that day. I shit you not. Mm. It was like I'd murdered somebody. Yeah. yeah. There was. Just jumped on it. There was camera yeah. crew. I, I was like, I, I don't understand what I've done wrong. Yeah. I don't understand. Like you literally just woke up and went to shoot every interview. That's all yeah. You yeah. And because yeah. I took it really late the night before. Mm. Oh, off a fucking head. Oh, Mary Care. And I was mm. like. I don't understand, yeah. and I, I actually wanted to die. Yeah, it must the, be the most the, horrendous thing. I mean, at that point, I used to get like 40 paps outside the house every day. It mm. was it was ridiculous. But yeah. I, I mean, I understand why Britney, you know, mm. went crazy and things yeah. like that. But the hardest thing is that after you going through that and then obviously what's been coming up recently and then it's all like, oh, like, don't don't hop on that train about the cancer. Absolutely it's like not. You, everyone was first I am, to I am it. not hopping on anything. Me and Philip made No, up. not you. I'm just saying yeah. in general that I think... But I'm yeah. telling you now, there, there was no aftercare with me after yeah. that show. Nobody said... Kerry, are you all right? Would yeah. you like to you apply? You Would you like to give a statement? Will you explain? And I just, I remember driving up, I was with Matt Croft, and as I'm getting to my house, I'm like, fuck. What? I, I mm. don't understand. I I felt so alone. I was like, I don't understand what my, my kids, what me. Yeah, it, yeah. it was awful. It yeah. was, and I, I, I still can't believe the shit I've been through and I'm still here. Yeah. Because, you know, you boys are so young. You're relatively new compared to me doing this, oh, and yeah, 100%. you know, and the media aren't like they used to be. Mm. Nowhere yeah. near like oh, they used like, to be. Yeah, we. Yeah. And I think the main thing is it is a lot of propaganda. Mm. You know, never believe anything you read, oh, and yeah, only believe yeah, half yeah. what you see. Yeah, yeah. Look to your left and look to your right, and they're the people who you will end up being like. So make sure you're surrounded by the right kind of people. Mm. That's who I'm surrounded by, my kids, and that's all I want. That's yeah, enough. Yeah. You two can fuck off. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and, and on that and, note, and, and that's been a lesson. That's been a lesson. Yeah, yeah. But you've obviously done other shows as well, like Big Brother and stuff. Done them all. How? What? What has been your favourite? Like, what would you say a highlight is? Obviously, winning the jungle. Yes. Um, How many years ago was that now? Nineteen. I was the first queen, oh the my highest. Oh my god, wait. Fuck, I was like one. Was no, right, fuck off, Joe. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> fuck off, Joe. Oh sorry, god. sorry. Isn't it funny how quick you go off, people? <laughs> actually, no, I think, I'm I'm, I, think I might have been two. It's fine. <laughs> I feel so much better. <laughs> Are you excited for Big Brother to come back? Yeah, I am. Yeah. So I did, I did the jungle. Yeah. Won that. Did Big Brother, came runner up. Did Slabs on the Farm. Won that. Did Come Down with me. Won that. So you've got a Did good track record. Did Coach Trip with our Lily. Yeah. We won that. So you've got a good, good track record. Yeah, I don't know why. Would you ever do Dance on Ice or anything like that? I did Dance on Ice. Oh, Came six, you? that's why I didn't mention oh, it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry. It's, it looks hard. I went to see it live. It looks what? hard. It was brilliant. I did it with Dan Wister. I came six out of 16. I, still get, I got taught to skate by Tarvel and Dean. Still can't fucking skate. I just did a bit of this. It's hard. It looks so hard. <laughs> you know what? I was in the best shape of my life. That was fucking... It was our work. The yeah. ice is like not like an ice rink when because I went to watch it and it's like it's just clean sheet of it's ice. Like it's not like an it? ice rink. It's, it's long days. I went audience oh. in it. Oh my, oh my god. Well, yes. my ex husband needed it as well, so we went. What Brian did it oh, as well. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get our lady of Ireland. So you should do it. You know what? Not that one. She can do it. She's 18. Look, I've, I've worked <laughs> enough. It's time for me to fucking retire. Get out there and work. <laughs> I was working from age of 40. Get out, get out there and work. George wants to do Love Island, don't you? Mm, not really. Yeah, I don't mind. Oh my God, you and our Lily do it. That'd be fucking hilarious. I think. Yeah, we're going to get a meeting for us to do it. Honestly, because what I love about our Lily, she's like me. We don't give a shit, but you got all these girls on love Island. I wish. Oh, she'd be like jumping in the pool now. Yeah, yeah, yeah she'll yeah, be yeah. she'll be bombing. Oh, yeah. can't be out rolling a cigarette. Can't be out shaving a pits, because I think young girls these days are very. Oh, the time I'm so sorry. And Lil, George is going to do it. 
do it together. <laughs> apparently, you, apparently you we're doing it together. Do it together. Oh my God, it's so much oh, fun. Oh, imagine you two going in as bombshells. And then, and then when it's parents going, we can go in. <laughs> Your friends and family. family. Oh yeah. my God, that'd be oh so God, much fun. Be, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, he's what an ex you see, when I get asked to do these TV shows, I think, wow, what an adventure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Want, awesome. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why I do it. I mean, when I did Coach Trip with our Lily, it was Ghost Trip. It was a Halloween special. We're running around shooting fucking zombies. I'm thinking, yeah. I would never do like, that. You, you would never, ever do that. And, yeah, and yeah. I keep saying to our Lily, it's just, what a... Fuck these nine to five jobs. No, no, I don't, I don't mean it like that. It sounds really well. I can't fucking say anything these days. Can you get cancelled? For me, I'm very lucky and very blessed that I get to these amazing adventures. And I'm like, mm. so once in a lifetime, mm. look how lucky and yeah. blessed we are to do what we do. Yeah. Get your ass on fucking Love Island and make me some bastard money. And, and on that note, <laughs> thank you so much thank for, you for coming on. Me. Honestly, this has been so much fun. Please tell me I was your best guest ever. And you have been. I don't Definitely. think I've laughed as much ages. You know what? We need you around the house for a roast one day. Bring oh the family. Oh my God, will your mum cut me a roast? Mum would yeah. love that. Let's do Let's that. Do it. I'm She'd love that. starving. I'm not now, but I've got to go. <laughs> no, no, thank you so oh, much. Thank you for having honestly. me, guys. Honestly, and um, obviously, it. yeah, Kerry's book's out. Let me just grab it. There we go. I'm going to plug it. Do the little... Do you want to do the little... Yeah, uh, Kerry's Boutique as well. If, you, if you're if you struggling for a day, get yourself some money. If you're a fat bastard, you want to lose some weight, get on MFit. Woohoo! And OnlyFans. And oh, yeah. <laughs> OnlyFans. Subscribe, motherfuckers. You tell them, George. You tell them. Tell guys, them how good it is. Best thing I've ever seen. Get her in See? the top 0.01%. Thank you guys so Still much for it. watching. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If George. Guys, if you're, listening, <laughs> if you're listening on Spotify, please rate us five stars. It helps massively. All the links will be down below. We'll stick a link to Buy Kerry's book. <laughs> and, well. and her only fans. And her only fans. And we'll of see course. you next week. See you later, Thanks guys. So Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you.